We're pleased to be joined by Sergeant Patricia Pierce, who's a health department police officer. Patricia, welcome to the show. Thank you, Greg. Good afternoon to you. Thank you. What does a health department police officer do? Well, we maintain crowd control. We maintain peace in the establishment so that it can work in a fully order. Um, We maintain um, safety in the facility so that everyone who comes into the location feels safe and comfortable. And where are some of the locations that you work in? We have many locations. We have Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan. In Manhattan, the prior one is 125 Worth Street, where many will come for their birth and death records. Okay, and where are some of the centers in uh, Queens? Some well, we, have, we have Bushwick, we have Crown Heights, we have Fort Greene, we have Corona, we have a site in Jamaica. So we're all over. And how did you become a health department police officer? Well, I was wanting to do something meaningful in my life. And when the test came, I said I was going to take it. And so I took that test, and I'm very proud I did. And how many years have you worked for the health department? I worked with them for 19 years. And what is your most... uh, fulfilling day do you does one day stick out in your mind over your 19 year career that you came to work and you thought that was the day that you made an impact well Greg I feel every day I make an impact especially when we deal with hundreds and hundreds of people sometimes the day ends and you just think about all that went on it's really hard to put into words but it's a fulfilling day especially with crowd control We have many people that we speak with on a daily basis, and we learn so many things about people in their lives. Now, 9-11, you mentioned 125 Worth Street. Were you assigned to 125 Worth Street on 9-11-2001? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. And that day, I guess, would stick out in everyone's mind. That was a very, very orange day. We had so much going on. We were trying to help so many people. And um, it will always be in my memories forever and ever. But we were very successful with helping so many as they came into the location. They were just coming into uh, the location just looking for some sort of security because of everything going on outside. That's true, Greg. Some came in. They were clothes missing off of them. They had broken arms. It was just a very sad time. But... We were there, and the department reached out, made a triage center, and uh, we took their names, and we just did everything we could to care for them. Yes, that's part of the story that we uh, didn't hear about, that there were more heroes there at Ground Zero than uh, we know about. And you and your colleagues were certainly a few of the unsung heroes that we didn't hear about. There's one thing that you would say to our audience about being a health department police officer. What would that be? That would be joy. Joy because of the fact that when a day ends and you know that you've given it all your best and you have some good results, it brings joy to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Patricia. I'm Gregory Floyd, President of Teamsters Local 237. You've been listening to Reaching Out. Please join us again.